Hawa Israel, Hawa. I require existence out of you. I require vibration out of you. And I require recompense for that which was taken from you and is constantly being denied from you. They try to tell you who you are, but they cannot. They cannot tell you who you are. They cannot tell you who you were. So you have to decide for yourself and choose up. Wow, wow. The creator. The framer and the shaper. We speak existence. We speak energy, man. We speak the flow, the wave. And we are surfing the wave. All praise, all creator. Wow. Fulfilling our vessels and feeding the flock. Wow. Much love to Paco. For dropping this script on me and I just want to share it man he just shared a wonderful many wonderful lessons please check out Paco man and um Lamentations drop man he's been in this wisdom of Solomon we been digging on the Preston Johns and so much more and uh he dropped this wisdom of Solomon chapter 8 on me man so I'm gonna get that and then I'm gonna get a little bit of that Paco and we just talking frequency man love to the tribe man Love to hire him. Hire him is a true one. Hire him is a real one. Their role. I'm a witness of the existence and hire him, man. My brother hire him are. Who know getting to the root. I'm a witness of the existence. I sit down in the classrooms, man, all the time of these brothers. AD, man, I'm gonna share some AD dropped on us, man. AD, heavy, 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 heavy. You don't, <laughs> you talking about no days off. Isaac, man, same, man, digging on it, man, from day one. I'm just talking about the fam, the tribe, man. Don't mind me for sharing the existence. Man. Jay Stu know what it do. We know who we are. We know we exist. We know who we are, and we know we exist. And I appreciate the tribe. I appreciate all the family that we're building with. I appreciate you that I've never met and I've never, you know what I'm saying, have crossed paths with at this point, at this junction. But I appreciate you because this is real. You validated. You manifested. You manifest our wave to reality, to freedom. We're only talking freedom and sovereignty and we're finding the drop. We're finding the drop, the sep, the substance, the purified substance, the elements. We're finding the drop. Hawa, our creator, Hawa. It's going to keep getting this drop, y'all. It already exists in you. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 8. Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily, and sweetly she orders all things. I love her and sought her out from my youth. I desire to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty, in that she is conversant with Hawa. She magnifies her nobility. Yeah, Hawa of all things himself loved her. For she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of Hawa and a lover of his works. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, 
What is richer than wisdom? That works all things. And if prudence work, who of all that are is a more cunning workman than she? And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. For she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. If a man desire much experience, she knows things of old and conjectures are right. What is to come, she knows the subtleties of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foresees signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. Therefore, I propose to take her to me to live with me, knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares and grief. For her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders, though I be young. I shall be found of a quick conceit and judgment and shall be admired in the sight of great men. When I hold my tongue, they shall bide my leisure. And when I speak, they shall give good ear unto me. And if I talk, they shall lay their hands upon their mouths. Moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. I shall set the people in order, and the nation shall be subject unto me. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid. When they do but hear of me, I shall be found good among the multitude and valiant in war. After I come into my house, I will repose myself with her, for her conversation has no bitterness, and to live with her has no sorrow, but mirth and joy. Now when I considered these things in myself, I pondered them in my heart. How that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality, and great pleasure is it to have her friendship. And in the works of her hands are infinite riches, and in the exercise of conference with her prudence, and in talking with her a good report, I went about seeking how to take her to me. For I was a witty child and had a good ruach. Yea, rather, being good, I came into a body undefiled. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her except Hawa gave her me. And that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. Hawa. I prayed unto Hawa and besought him. And with my whole heart I said, Hawa of my fathers and Hawa of mercy, who have made all things with your word and ordained man through your wisdom that he should have dominion over the creatures which you have made and order the world according to equity and righteousness and execute judgment with an upright heart. Give me wisdom. Framer and the shaper. Honor thy mother and thy father above. Give me wisdom, my mother. Give me wisdom, my mother. Give me wisdom that sits by your throne, Framer and the Shaper. 
give me wisdom that sits by your throne and reject me not from among your children. For I am your servant and son of your handmaid am a feeble person and of a short time and too young for the understanding of judgment and Torah. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if your wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. You have chosen me to be a king of your people and a judge of your sons and daughters. You have commanded me to build a temple upon your holy mouth and an altar in your city wherein you dwell, a resemblance of the holy tabernacle which you have prepared from the beginning. And wisdom wars, wisdom was with you, and wisdom was with you, which knows your works, and was present when you made the world, and was present when you made the world, and knew what was acceptable in your sight and right in your commandments. Oh, send her out of your holy heavens and from the throne of your glory, that being present she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto you. Why? For she knows and understands all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my doings and preserve me in her power. So shall my works be acceptable, and then shall I judge your people righteously, and be worthy to sit in my father's seat. For what man is he that can know the counsel of Hawa? Or who can think what the will of Hawa is? For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable. And our devices are but uncertain, for the corruptible body presses down the soul, and the earthy tabernacle weighs down the minds that muses upon many things, and hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon earth, and with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven who has searched out, and your counsel who has known except you give wisdom and send your Ruach HaKodesh from above. For so the ways of them which lived on earth were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto you and were saved through wisdom. Allah. Yo, that was a reading of Wisdom of Solomon out the Ed Sefer, chapter uh, 8 and 9. And wow, you know, if you feel that, if you can vibrate with that, man, then I'm with you. Love to Paco right on time, yeah, and as we grow, never stop moving, man. Never, you know, learn something over here or, or anywhere, man, and think that's it. You know, you got to keep going. You got to keep moving. You don't ever have it. You have to keep going. I don't have it. I don't have the answers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to keep going. I got to keep moving towards my design, which is your design. And we're surfing the wave together. And this is who we're talking to, man. I mean, I never stopped doing it for the homie in the back of the class, man, with the headphones on. I never stopped doing it for my home girl. You know what I mean? My sisters, my brothers, I never stopped doing it for y'all. I know I know the true facts. I know that I don't care what numbers they try to say anything. I know that it's literally, man, 20, 30 people, man, <laughs> that are surfing the way. And I do it for y'all, man. Real spill, real talk. I know who I'm talking to, man. And I know who we're vibrating with. And I know what's going on. And I'm, I know it. I know it. I feel it. You know what I mean? So Paco feels it, man. <laughs> Paco dropped that on us. And without further ado, man, I mean, you know, we just been drifting, man. We just been drifting in our boat, you know what I mean? Don't mind us. Don't mind what we do over here, man. Love to Paco. 
Paco. All right, we're going to vibe to Paco, man. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it live. Um, you know, this particular, you know, drop is heavily influenced by this young brother. And we, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm 37, man. Um, you know, this brother, you know, being early, early 20s, man, I believe 21. Um, I mean, this is the energy, you know, this is the generation that got the drop. This is what we do it for, you know what I'm saying? So when we see this this righteous young energy, man, come, then we do everything as a wall of protection as brothers, you know what I'm saying, with Jay Stu, man. I mean, same with CJ Battle, man, love to the Battle family. So supportive, man. I've been building, especially with the brother CJ Battle, man. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just, um, you know, a pure water connect, man. If I have an opportunity to be there for this generation, then I got to do everything I can as a big bro to reach out, you know what I mean, to have great conversation. So love to the family that, you know, we've been building with, man. And uh, all hawa, all hawa, because it's easy. It's easy to do this. This is easy for us, man. It's exciting. It's easy. So love to Paco. Like I said, this is heavily, this drop is heavily influenced uh, by this energy, this creative energy going on. We're talking about hawa. We're talking about the mother, the father above. We're talking about the frame of the shaper. We're talking about the uh you know the connection the union that's been separated and pulled apart and we've been in loops not connected to our mother earth not connected to our father who molds us who shapes us our mother that frames us that puts the ingredients together it's all the connection of hawa it's all the beauty man and we're going to get into this man so let's start with this man this is a beautiful segment man the the brother just dropped. Y'all go check it out. Y'all go follow and subscribe. Do everything you can to support the brother. We're going to be building amazing things, especially when it comes to these drop artists. Me, me, I ain't gonna, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. But it's going down right on time. Real spill. Pop gold. Take it away. Oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me, dim, my, let me dim my library, Paco. My bad, man. I'll be easy. With me. What you want from me? What y'all want me to do? Alright. Alright, that's uh, got a lot going on here, man. We we just creating a move. Y'all think it's easy to do this? Y'all think this is easy? To create this vibration? <laughs> oh wow, let's go. Just remember you exist. Wow. Existence. I don't gotta say much. That explains a lot in itself. Because if you exist, that means you have no expiration date. And if, and if you have no expiration date, then the creator who made you has no expiration date. So there's simply a connection between us and the energy that made us. Because everything is energy. Energy can never be lost. It can only be transferred. So, if a certain sound or a certain vibration lives, lives on the earth forever, then it certainly has a code that allows it to. And if that energy that is vibrating on this planet forever, on this flat plane forever, is living, then it has a connection to this earth forever. And that's where you have to connect the framer and the shaper, your mother and your father. Because your father sets out the law. A mother, she shapes. She connects you back. The father breathed in you, but he builds you out of your mother. Now, I'm just thinking real quick. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of research on quantum physics and quantum reality and shit. 
Just got a nigga thinking deeper. Because what if quantum physics and quantum theory is simply science or scientist trying to figure out the creator in their hijack way? Because the only thing that can be abstract while also being formed and correct is eternal energy. Is Hawa existing? Because if we exist, we simply have to remember the covenant. Because we, we are here for a reason. We are the creator's sound marching through Jerusalem and through the Gentile nations. Because we're able to think this deeply for a reason. Not to leave our people, but to lead our people. By being the example and not just being lip service. Because it, it's two type of people in the world. People that talk it and people that walk it. So if you talk a good game but you don't back it up, that means you're just pushing out lip service. So if you're a man of the law, your word is your bond. Because when you speak, you're speaking sound. Which means you're making a connection to the environment and the energy around you. That means you're making a connection to the creator. Because he, he, cause he, he hears all. Because he is in everything. So you can't escape him. That's why Satan is, is trying to make all this technology to make you try to connect to him. But, if, but really, if you connect back to yourself... You don't, you don't need this iPhone. You don't need none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm sorry, you're thinking. But when we always have a good foundation in the Tanakh and the Torah, we can expound on any thoughts and theories in our mind because our foundation is solid, which means we cannot be moved, which means we're in sure foundation because the energy that is sustaining us is the energy that made us, not any hijack. Because only the energy that made you can save you. Real talk. I said only the energy that made you can save you. We see the eagles. We see the birds. We see everything around us. They were all created for a purpose. Because they were created to vibrate. With their, with their energy and connection back to the creator. And in our energy and vibration, in our covenant back to the creator, we're vibrating in constant communication with him because we weren't doing the things that he displeased. Which means the law was being taught. Which means thy brother was being loved. And that, com and that community was being respected. And more importantly, our creator is worshipped. Because we can never lose focus. We are given these names for a reason. And, we, and when we simply begin to accept 
what the Creator has for us, life becomes simple. We don't have to worry too much because we know we're being moved in the right direction. Because when you have solid foundation, wisdom comes. Because wisdom is always going to test you out. Because wisdom don't just come to anybody. If you look around, don't much people have wisdom, which means understanding to see through. Simply understanding to see through, not not through anything, but to see through. It needs no definition to survive. Because our covenant is everlasting. That means we're for last. So we see through the calamities of this world. Because wisdom is with us. Because we know the world of Babylon is falling. We know their kingdom is coming down. But the but the destruction that's come to them isn't for us. We already got judged. Our people got sent off into foreign lands. We got enslaved on our own land. We, we forgot our native tongue. All these curses happened to our people. We, we were taken off our land and moved in ghettos. Everywhere. Because his seed was everywhere. Press the John of the Three Indies. Uh oh. The, the Caribbean was called the West Indies for a reason. <laughs> when they say Columbus was going to Asia, hold on, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. When they say Columbus was going to Asia, right? <laughs> they say he 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 was looking for a new spice route, I believe. Now, I don't know if I'm wrong, but 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 this but this is the wave I'm surfing. They were saying Columbus was looking for a new spice route in Asia. And it is so happened to be that in uh Jamaica or it, or if you're surfing this wave, either Yaks Maka or Hawa Maka. Because remember that J that J in Jamaica could be a trigger for Hawa Maka because the creator has land throughout all the Americas. And it's really interesting how this brother surfing the wave as he's saying it, man. And, you know, he's been surfing the wave on just that letter J. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it about this letter J? Why was it recently invented in the 17th century? And, you know, all that stuff like that. What's really coming behind it? Is it, is it just a symbol, you know, for how they're, you know, putting a symbol or something, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, hijack, you know, when you, you know, hear the name of the creator or, you know, the Jerusalem or the Jeremiah's and all the stuff that, you know what I'm saying, we're thinking are coming from a certain phonetic, you know what I'm saying, and as we break down and get into our Hawa, it seems that, you know, they didn't want us to be in a certain frequency, so how can we break through the spell in certain ways, and he's been surfing the wave through the letter J, take it away. I'm saying, and that that's a way of just finding that that's their part. But but anyway, it says in in Jamaica, right? Uh, it has something called Port Royal, and Port Royal was the they 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 say Port Royal was the most, I'm saying, uh, wickedest and most richest place on the earth at one time. Now it all makes sense because if you didn't know, now you know. Christopher Columbus was coming over here for a con in Cuba. Mm. So if Christopher Columbus was looking for a con in Cuba and in Port Royal, Jamaica, it has something to do with Spice Land. Something like that. Because in, in, in Jamaica, it has something to do with, with Spice Land and Port Royal because everything was being imported through there. Because we had different trading going on through throughout all the Americas in, in Port Royal. So maybe... Maybe I don't, I don't know if I'm wrong. Maybe if you're surfing this way before our before our people were hijacked, you know what I'm saying you had people coming to the Caribbean to trade and to mix off the different goods and stuff. And you know some people they probably mixed. 
and uh, you know what I'm saying, S -s settle down in the Caribbean, so some, so some minds might be throughout the Caribbean, some people from Florida are, are, are definitely in, in places like the Bahamas and all that, so it, so it makes sense, because you know, the Caribbean is where all, all, all three of the societies meet, because you got uh, the North American Indians, Central American Indians, and South American Indians, and then you got between that is the Caribbean, so it would kind of make sense if something, something would be going on around in that, in that region, but, you know, not to ramble on too much, but I, I, was, I was just making that connection right there. But yeah, man, that's what I'm up to. Enjoying the weather. Come on. Wow, and all that. It's all good, though. I hope y'all have a good ass day, man. Because if you keep the Creator first and His laws in your heart, nothing can mess up your day because you're constant in the law. Because, you know, when when when, the, when the people or, or the witches in Hollywood say, you know, as above, so below, they're, they're simply trying to be that the kingdom of Lucifer or, or the kingdom of the uh, or kingdom of the fallen ones that don't want to follow the creator's laws anymore are, are going to be above heaven. And if that happens, if, if their kingdom happens, then his children are, are going to be subjugated. But what if it doesn't mean that? Because we know that these hijacks that have their opinion or their take on our indigenous symbols. And I'm not saying as above, so below is our indigenous symbols, but we know what, what, what we know what all type of stuff is going on here. Know what I'm saying. So what if it's not as above, so below? What if it is? What if it is? You never get too high and you never get too low, because you're always remaining constant in the law. Because even if you're going through a good day, you're constant in the law. Even if you're going through a bad day, when you when you're being tested, when people are testing your patience. You can remain firm because you're a constant in the law. Because the law is the only thing that's everlasting because it's the creator's gift to his children. The law. That's why we have to respect it. And when the law is respected, our community is respected. You know what I'm saying? Huh? That's just all I got. Man, thank y'all for vibing out, man. Y'all have a good one. Yeah. Paco. You just dig it on the framer and the shaper. Now, we're going to get some more Paco. Like I said, this is, I mean, this entire wave is heavily influenced by Paco and the energy that keeps us connected. You know what I mean? There is no separation. So, when you're seeing this vibe, when you're seeing the connectivity, it ain't this, it ain't that, you know, it's all the whole, it's all our Hawa, it's all the existence, and we're going to get to it. Remember, we got this before out the pop of up. remember, this is the sacred text of the Quiche people, which means the people of the root, the people of the trees, the people of the root, all right? And these are the texts, and they got the drop about the framer and the shaper, and how these, you know, Spanish friars were saying that, yo, that's the God of the Old Testament. Their framer and shaper, their mother and father. That's the God, that's the energy, that's the power of their, of their root, of their, <laughs> of their true history. So there must be a separation between the power of the ancient love song. Remember the Samuel Seawall selling of Joseph and the excellent new tune that they're giving you. They're calling it an excellent new tune. That's that 440. But your ancient love song is the frequency, is the vibration. Remember, this is the beginning of the ancient traditions of this place called Quiche. Here we shall write. We shall begin to tell the ancient stories of the beginning. This is what they found here, my people. The origin of all that was done in the citadel of Quiche among the people of the Quiche nation. Here we shall gather the manifestation, the declaration, the accounting of the sowing and the dawning by Framer, the Framer, the Framer, and the Shaper. Sh
she who has born children, the framer, we're talking wisdom, wisdom of Solomon, she sits by the throne, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, we just got that, she sits by the throne, so she was there when the world was created, she was always there, she was always the connection, the most high, Hawa loves her, loves her, so that's the connection, that's your mother and father, you think, we think in Christianity of some lonely man sitting somewhere, he ain't got no woman around, he's just sitting there doing whatever, just waiting to judge something, and it's been disconnected, so you got only your father energy, so we got all this, all this male, 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 take over, take over, war, war energy, and they give you the God of war, and they're Zeus, and they're Zeus, and they're Jesus, and they're Jesus, they give you war, and they're Christos, Christ is a Greek word, Christos is a Greek word, so if it means anointed, then who is doing the anointing, the Greeks, you're speaking their vibration, you're speaking their language when you speak Christos, you're not speaking the Mashiach. You're not speaking the many Mashiachs that were sent and delivered. Those that sent were sent to deliver. Those that were sent to spread the message, the vibration. We just talk about vibration awareness. You've always been, you know what I'm saying, giving that vibration awareness upon you, in your ear, in your ruach, within you. You hear the same sound that we all hear that woke us all up. And we're just trying to dig on it from the beginning. They can call us whatever they want to. All we're doing is reading books, trying to dig on it. That's it. Trying to be static, hijack free. So hijack free, before they came, they called the framer and the shaper, the God of the Old Testament. And they split it apart. Now you only get a male, male, male. You don't get the connection to your mother, but you know you're walking on your mother earth. You know you enjoy a feminine vibration around you as a man. You want that feminine connection with your counterpart. You want a woman and you want her to be wise and you want her to be prudent and true. To keep law, to be lawful. Pure water law, the law of water, the law of water, the law that keeps the, you know what I'm saying, sun in this, in this particular circuit. Going in and out of the gates, according to Enoch. So we're talking about here. We shall gather the manifestation, the declaration, the accounting of the sowing and the dawning by the framer and the shaper. She, your mother, who has born children. And he who has begotten sons. So she who has born children and he who has begotten sons. And it's an interesting distinction to surf on. Because according to this, this Hawa only begets sons. Or he who was born, you know, he who was only begotten sons, the shaper. The shaper is the vibration that shapes you. And the mother who has born children. And is this where they got the women are from Mars and men are from Venus? How, you know, men are from Venus. You know what I'm talking about. Men from Mars, women from Venus. Your mother and your father, your connection like that. Is that where they're getting that connectivity from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that the push-pull of the energy of male and female that's always trying to get along and find their place? Is that the connection of it? Because, you know, <laughs> she who has born children, he who has begotten sons. And they are called along with Hanupu Possum and Hanupu Coyote, Great White Pakari and Coyote or Keati, Koto, Koti, Sovereign and Quetzalcoatl, Quetzal Serpent, Heart of Lake and Heart of Sea. So you got the Great White Pakari and Koti, Sovereign. So you see this, you know what I'm saying, a lot popping up in names and different titles. However you pronounce it, man, we're doing our best, we're doing our best. Quetzal Serpent. Heart of lake and heart of sea. So heart of lake is your mother. Heart of sea is your father. Creator of the green earth is your mother. Mother earth. Get it, my people. Vibrate. Activate with your mother and your green earth. And your father, the creator of the blue sky. Rakia, Rakwa. I beat it out. 
the solid expanse. I beat it out with my right hand. I beat it out. Physically beat out the expanse of the sky and spread it out like a tent to live in. Spread it out. Shamayim spread out like the tent, like a tent. All that is a physical construction of a sky. And this is your Hawa, your creator. Now we're talking the frame and the shaper. Creator of the green earth and creator of the blue sky. Hey, right, hey, right, hey. Right. And again, we got right here the fine print. You know, I love that fine print, man. Now it says, Seco, Seco, Seco. Framer refers to one who makes something by putting things together. This is your mother. This is a woman when you walk in a man's house and there's a woman who is present as a counterpart. You say, whoa, somebody's really been putting things together, man. You'd be like, yeah, man, you know, I guess it's getting serious. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm saying. Man, Chef Candy, man, she's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what she does, man. You know what I'm saying? She makes a house a home. She puts ingredients together. That's what she does in her meals, man. Shout out. To, love the Chef Candy. Check her out on Instagram. 42 to drop. All right. So, Sako, Framer. That's your mother. That's that's wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. Chapter 9. Refers to one who makes something by putting things together, i.e. a building from stone or adobe, a meal from various ingredients. Or a woven cloth from individual threads. That is a woman. That is your mother. This is your father. This was the connection. This was the power. When you put this together. This gave you the power. Fire, water, air, and land. This connected you. Adam. Your shaper refers to one who makes something by modeling, i.e. pottery from clay. I formed you. I shaped you out of the earth with my frequency that exists, that always exists, that exists. Shaper refers to one who makes something by modeling, i.e. pottery from clay. This is their cliches. This is your people. This is your ancestors. This is your forefathers and foremothers, framer and the shaper. Or a sculpture from carved stone, thus giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance. Oh, the world was, was void without shape. Then came a frequency. Now you got the somatics experiment showing what happens when sound hits a medium like water. And you have now a shape. Beautiful shapes, vibrations, designs. What design are you? What frequency are you in? Do you choose up? Back then, they can tell us by our vibration, yo. They knew who we were by our vibration. We knew each other by, by vibration, thus giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance. The framer and the shaper are the most frequently, frequently mentioned. Listen up. This ain't play play. This is wake up season. This is wakey wakey. Eggs and turkey bakey. This is redemption season. We talking choose up village, man. CUV. Keepers of the cove. The CUV. Choose up village. Love to CJ battle. Let go. Drop nation. The framer and the shaper are the most frequently mentioned gods involved in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. Now, this is a separate reconner's recon, <laughs> giving us the drop on what they're finding here. And let's keep reading again. The framer and the shaper are the most frequently mentioned gods involved or the most frequently mentioned powers they're finding in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. Anything to do with the creation of the world. The most frequently frequently mentioned powers that they are researching and finding to do with what they're finding here, the copper color races found here, are your mother and your father. Which is why in the Los Lunas, New Mexico stone, it says to honor your father. Yo, man, hold up, man. Y'all gonna make me go crazy. You know what I mean? I, I, I swear, man, I be just trying to have a, 
You know? I'm saying. Just bear with me, man. Y'all might think it's play play. <sighs> calm down. Just calm down. Just chill out. Got no drop, you know. Sometimes drop just need to drop out sometime, man. The commandments, the nine commandments and the lost lunis decalogue stone. We got this before. Page 108. Lego. Wow, wow. Paco. Yeah. This is Paco's fault. It's Paco's fault, y'all. Y'all go subscribe to Paco and say, you know, it's your fault. And we love you. you know what I mean. Alright, man. You know, I'm just going. All right, so you know the commandments that you regularly, you know, know. Now, remember, they they gave you your stuff back, okay? <laughs> so what you're finding here needs to be searched out, and that's all we're talking. So when we say commandments, we say ten commandments. But on the Lost Lunas Decalogue Stone, they have nine commandments. Now, the scholars are trying to say that there's some type of issue or or uh, this must be a, a, a messed up situation. But, ah, they're just covering tracks here. Now, we went through all this. I'm not going to do it now. But, of course, you know the commandments. You know, you know what I'm saying. What we're focusing on here is honor thy father and thy mother. Everybody knows that. Christian churches, honor thy father. Even if your mother and father beating your ass and they drunk and they crazy and they, and they deserve no honor because all they do is steal from people. You're still supposed to honor thy father. You still, you still got to honor your mother and father. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, let's look deeper into this. Let's look deeper Alright, so this is the Lost Lunas deck of Lockstone. Now this is a huge rock, you know, tons and tons. So this ain't no small situation. This is Paleo-Hebrew that they found here. Alright, so let's see what they said about this father and the mother. Let's see if I can find it right quick. <coughs> Alright, alright. Alright, so let's pick it up from here. One only need one only need to take a closer look to see what that whatever the scribe was, he had knowledge that the supposed experts of today do not have. For this reason I am going to talk about the supposed commandment number five, thou shalt honor thy father, thy mother, and thy father. In a video that my good friend Alan sent me concerning the lost lunar stone, a student, a student of Hebrew, points out a few mistakes according to him but never really expounds upon what exactly the mistake is except for the fifth com commandment. So there's a mistake in the fifth commandment. Now this might be something that they did. Okay, now just be open to the fact that someone gave you back your stuff, but they're finding your stuff here. So how did they take you out your frequency? And what is so important about the number nine? Four plus three plus two is nine. When he is asked what is actually what it actually says, so we're talking about the fifth commandment, some mistake that he's finding this student of Hebrew. When he is asked what is actually what it actually says, he struggles trying to tell us what it should say until the host of the video asked him specifically what it actually says. With this, the student of Hebrew again struggles and says, It says Honor thy father and thy mother above. Honor thy father and thy mother above. Your framer, your shaper, your shaper, your framer. That's what it says right here in the fifth commandment in Paleo Hebrew in Los Lunas, New Mexico, in America. Copper color race is found here, according to the 1828 Webster Dictionary. Columbus did bring a Hebrew interpreter to come find you, Negroes. Now you're finding your, your breakdown. And these Hebrew students got to come out here, got to try to keep quiet. The, the person finally says, spit it out, man. What does it say? He says, look, man, it says, honor thy father and mother above. When I heard this, I knew that our understanding of the scriptures for near 2,000 years is 
what is an error. At this time, I will point out one other mistake which has existed for a very long time. The words are not honor your, it is glorify you. Not honor your, but glorify you. In other words, you glorify father and mother above. You glorify father and mother above. You glorify father and mother above. Why do men always suppose they know more about the ancient writings than those who wrote them? It is what it is. Now the problem is, who is our mother above? And did the ancients know her? Now you got the drop by lead of lane. We're talking about the forbidden histories. This book is in the forbidden histories and most of y'all never heard of it before we started dropping it. I never heard of it. So it ain't for you, Negro, huh? But we're still finding it because the Most High said in Daniel chapter 12 that the books would be unsealed. And now we're seeing what they say. Honor thy father and mother above or glorify you. You glorify father and mother above. Your framer and shaper. Your shaper and your framer. Framer refers to one who makes something by putting things together, i.e. a building, stone or adobe, a mill from various ingredients, or a woven cloth from an individual threads. Beato shaper <coughs> refers to one who makes something by modeling pottery from clay or sculpture from carved stone, thus giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance. The framer and shaper are the most frequently mentioned gods or powers involved in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. Their names imply that the creation involved giving frame and shape to matter. We're talking energy, people. You see how they're in a whole other dimension already speaking energy. And look how this plays and refers and, and, and it has everything to do with your energy, your existence. That the creation involved giving frame and shape to matter that already existed rather than conjuring something out of nothing existed always existed existence always existed this pair of gods this pair this power this couple this connection was so important your mother and father are so important that soon after the spanish conquest Father Domenico de Viso, Domenico de Viso, used their quiche names to refer to the God of the Old Testament. Now, why would he have to separate the God of the Old Testament from the New? And why is he referring to the Framer and the Shaper? The most frequently mentioned gods or powers in the creation of the world and its inhabitants, you so-called Negro, copper color race found here, this pair of powers, this power, this unity was so important. This union was so important that soon after the Spanish conquest, Father Domenico de Viso used their quiche names to refer to the God of or the power of the Old Testament or the original. The power of the original people. The framer and the shape of your mother and the father. Your mother and your father. Honor thy father and thy mother above the barrier. Glorify you. You glorify father and mother above is what it says in stone, Negroes. Paco, let go. <laughs> Told y'all, man, I gotta give it up. So let me just cover this right quickly, man. Love to AD, who dropped this amazing link. I'll leave it for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I can't do um, um, updates in the library while we're in transition, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep dropping these links on y'all, man. AD dropped this on us, the legacy of Adam and Eve. Just look at these chapters. The Adamic problem, a living record, the gods of mythology, on the father, chapter five, 
Hawa, the creator. And I said, wow, Hawa, the creator. You know what I mean? All praise Hawa, because the books are unsealed. I had to click on that chapter, man. Chapter 5, Hawa, the creator. I mean, you see, this is getting too good. I mean, it's getting too good. Yeah. We're going to get, man, let's just, get, let's just get it. We're going to go hyperspeed, man. I'm going to leave this for you. Let's go. A highly prominent name is that of Hawa. It was the most ancient name for the creator. And is easily identified from a Hebrew verb meaning to form or to mold or to shape. Because we're only talking the framer and the shaper. She who has born children. He who has begotten sons. The shaper pottery from clay. Gives shape. To an otherwise amorphous substance. We're talking the frame of the shaper. So Hawa is referring to the shaper. To form or to mold. This is the vibration itself. As time flowed on. So check it man. This is amazing man. I mean who knew we would find this. Who knew we find this. AD man. Woo. Is in the zone right now. <laughs> A.D. Hawa Hawa is in the zone right now. A highly prominent name is that of Hawa. It was the most ancient name for the creator and is easily identified from a Hebrew verb meaning to form or to mold. As time flowed on, the world fell apart. Different people developed different names for the father God, for the creator king of the gods, and for other superhuman personalities. The myths show common patterns from the stories and relationships among the gods vary from place to place. The tribes remembered the same general arrangement, but estrangement led to different details, oral deterioration, and later literally embe embellishments eroded the solid core of social memory. In other words, we fell off from Hawa. We fell off from Hawa. That's why, you know, when we got that etymology and we looked up Yahweh, 1869, man. Created in 1869, man. Hypothetical reconstruction of the Tetragrammaton YHWH, but we're going to get some more. See Jehovah. Based on the assumption that the tetragrammaton is the imperfective of the Hebrew verb Hawa. Hawa, which is the earlier form of Heya. So an etymology is showing us that Hawa predates Heya. And it's very important because these are the subtleties. In the sense of the one who is the existing. I exist. We exist. I am that I am. Heya. Earlier form of Heya. Hawa. So an etymology is showing us that the Hebrew verb Hawa. H-A-W-A. -A, some put H. Some don't. You know what I'm saying? You rock how you rock. I don't trip on these particulars. I'm just trying to dig on it with you earlier form of hey -ah. again it's all a beautiful frequency to me you say hey out of me i say hey i back to you we're just digging on it because we're talking about the creator we're talking about this the existence and we're doing our best to break through the spell with the you know most pure water frequency we can that's all we do how can we get the most pure water frequency out of this thing the most purified substance so here it says that the hebrew verb hawa is the earlier form of hey -ah. So we have an earlier form, Hawa, in the sense of the one who is existing. We're talking about Hawa, the creator. A highly prominent name is that of Hawa. It was the most ancient name for the creator and is easily identified from a Hebrew verb meaning to form or to mold or to shape. When we're just talking about framer and shaper. To frame and to shape your mother and your father, which are again 
their names, uh, the frame and the shape are the most frequently mentioned gods involved in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. Their names imply that the creation involved giving frame and shape to matter that already existed rather than conjuring something out of nothing. This pair of gods was so important that soon after the Spanish conquest, Father Domenico de Viso used their quiche names to refer to the God of the Old Testament. And that's from Carmack and Mondlock, 1983. You dig on it, man. Because we're just talking how wild the creator. Man, so this is going to go deeper. I'm just going to drop this on you. But yo. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. I'm just going to get this part, man. Because I just saw something pretty dope. So, all right, how wild the created? All right, so time went on. Everyone, you know, fell off. The myth stories show these common patterns, but with divergent embellishments. Through this study, it is now possible to isolate the old names and show evidence which was preserved beyond the, dis the disintegrating process of social memory or just hijack and invasion and thought spell barriers and the distortion of ancient scribes and their literary accounts we can now determine the original forms in chapter two i discussed the anglo-saxon i remember we got these angel saxons and how they're hijacking all this anglo angel stuff from us we are the they they referred to these as the tribes of israel in certain research circles so we know we're just talking israelites so we know we're still talking to us when we hear anglo-saxon Aloha, remember the Hawa, Hawaii, Hawa, we, we pointed this out before, Hawa, Hawaii, Aloha, alright, with its present form of hello, and the curious parallel with Hawaiian islands, Aloha, these greetings have strong parallels with Eloha, Eloha, the Hebrew name of God, furthermore, as I shall show the biblical name for the personal name for the personal God of Israel was Yahweh translated in many modern English versions of the Bible simply as Lord. This name, although not recognized by modern scholarship, is related to Eloah and to Hawa. Also, Eloha, Aloha forms are found in place names. Aloha, Alua in Ireland and Scotland. Remember the Scottish Highlands and the Picts? Love to Brother Jay in the UK. We're getting there. Ulua or Loa in Chile. Loa in Udall. Uh oh. Loa Loa in South Pacific. Sina Loa in Central America. And we got more. So. We've been digging on this Hawa Hawaii, and now we got the Loa in Utah and Udaw. We know we're just talking Hawa, the earlier form of Heya. You remember we dug in the Strong's Lexicon, you know, when you dig on that Exodus, you know what I'm saying, 3 and 13 and 14 and all that. And you have E, -E they could have E, 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 E. Apparently in orthographical variation. All right, so let's get down. 1961. All right, so Strong's Lexicon. 1961. Hey, ya. Ha, ya. Ha, wa. Ha, ya. Ha, wa. Ha, ya. A primitive root to exist. All right, this is your shaper. To become or become, come to pass. Always emphatic and not a mere copula or auxiliary. Beacon. Now you see this X here, which is similar to that Andrews, Andrews, Roos Cross, the crossing, all together, become, accomplish, committed, like, break. Did did not you get broken by Hawa? Will not you be become and come to pass? Come to pass, do, faint, fall, follow, happen, have, last, pertain, quit. Oneself require what's the requirement? Let's look deeper. Haya, haya, verb, a primitive root, a primitive root. So 
So we're just talking a primitive root. So when we say frequency and we're just talking a primitive root, don't mind us. We're just talking a primitive root. We're talking a vibration that is a primitive root of a frequency so-called language, but we predate writing. We're just talking energy here. So when you see that I am that I am, and people have different things, we're just digging on it because we're talking existence and we're breaking through the spell barrier. So this is I am. This is your Hawa or Hey Ya. Earlier form Hawa. To be, become, come to pass, exist, happen, fall out. Did your creator fall out with you? Why do you think that was? Did you put another power before your power? Before your framer and your shaper? Call another mother, mother, and another father, father? To happen, fall out, occur, take place, come about, come to pass. This is all in the primitive root word, hey ya, or hawa, or Hawa, the creator, love to AD. What are we talking about? Existence. So every time I say Hawa, I'm just wishing you existence. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, being in the reality of existence with you. I'm, I'm making a contract with you. Every time you come here, you're making a contract with me. You're saying, hey, man, I'm going to crystallize you with my, you know what I'm saying, with my thought, with my listening, with my energy, with my comments. I'm making a contract with you that, hey, man, I'm going to exist with you in reality. And I say, Hawa, to say I'm existing with you, existing, I'm happening, I'm becoming with you, I'm coming to pass with you. And if I fall out with you, <laughs> if I have to drop you off, then maybe I can drop you back. Maybe I can, you know what I'm saying, pick you back up, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe after I fall out with you, we can still exist, all right? To happen, fall out, occur, take place, come about, come to pass, all right? Arise, appear, to become. How is this not all your creator? To be, to exist, to be instituted, to be established. All this in Hawa, all this in a primitive root verb is all speaking of your creator, your existence. And you wonder why they calling it Hawa, 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 the creator. A highly prominent name. Is that of Hawa? It was the most ancient name for the Creator and is easily identified from a Hebrew verb meaning to form or to mold. The framer and the shaper are the most frequently mentioned gods involved in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. Their names imply that the creation involved giving frame and shape to matter that already existed rather than conjuring something out of nothing. This pair of gods, Hawa, was so important that soon after the Spanish conquest, Father Domenico de Viso used their quiche names. We're talking Framer and Shaber to refer to the gods of the Old Testament. All in the primitive root word to be instituted, established, to exist, to be in existence, to abide, to remain and continue. With word of place or time. To stand. Lie, be in, be at, be, be situated with word of locality, to accompany, be with, to occur, come to pass, to be done, to be brought about, and to be done, be finished, be gone. Haya, haya, hawa, a primitive root, exist, accomplish, commit. We're just talking hawa, we're talking H1961. We talking I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. The response that God used in the Hebrew Bible when Moses asked for the name in Exodus 3.14. It is one of the most famous verses in Torah. Hey ya, hey ya, right there. <laughs> Means existed in Hebrew. Hey ya, hey ya, hawa. Hey ya is the first person singular in perfect form and is usually translated. Translated in the English Bible as I am, I will be, I shall be. Exodus 3.14, Eya, Asher, Eya, literally translates to I am who I am. The ancient Hebrew three, Exodus 3.14 lacks a future tense such as modern English has. Yet a few translations render this name, I will be what I will be. Given the context of what they're calling Yahweh's promise to be with his people through his, their former 
their future troubles, both the literal present tense I am and the future tense I will be, have given rise to many attendant theoretical and mystical implications in Jewish tradition. However, in most English Bibles, in particular the King James Version, he colonized you in 1603 with the London Company and the London Patents. The phrase is rendered as I am that I am. Why did you do that, KJ? V A I Asheria, often contracted in English, I am, is one of the seven names of God according, according to special care of medieval Jewish tradition. The phrase is also found in other world, world religious literature used to describe the supreme being, generally referring back to its use in Exodus. The word Aya, Hawa, is considered by many rabbinical scholars to be a first person derivative of the Tetragrammaton. Now look at here, and when they say Judaism, Hebrew Bible, the word Ayah is used a total of 43 places in the Hebrew Bible where it is often translated as I will be, as is the case in the first occurrence in Genesis 26.3, or I shall be, as is the case in the final occurrence in Zechariah 8.8, 8, used by God to identify himself in the burning bush. The importance placed on the phrase stems from the Hebrew conception of monotheism, that God existed by himself for himself and is the uncreated creator who is independent of any concept force or entity therefore i am who i am some scholars state that the, that the tetragrammaton itself derives from the same verbal root following a, a rabbinical interpretation of exodus 314 but others counter that it may simply sound similar as intended by god such as psalms 119 and the hebrew words shoket shok watching and shoket almond branch found in jeremiah 1 11 and 12 whether the holy name written as yhwh is arrived from aya or whether the two are individual concepts is a such subject of debate among historians and theologians in appearance it is possible to render yhwh as the archaic third person singular imperfect form of the verb aya to be meaning Therefore, he is, it is notably distinct from the root L, which can be used as a simple noun to refer to the creator deity in general, as in Elohim, meaning simply God or gods, the interpretation. So now when you hear gods, you hear a plural, and how does that relate to the framer and the shaper? This interpretation agrees with the meaning of the name given in Exodus 3.14, where God is represented as speaking, and hence as using the first person, Aya, I am. Now listen up. Other scholars regard the transconsonant, the transconsonantal, transconsonantal root of Hawa. Right? So you know the scholars of Hebrew know about these transconsonantal roots and right? all this other stuff. But look, the root of Hawa as the more likely origin for the name Yahweh. So other scholars regard the transconsonantal root of Hawa as the more likely origin of the name Yahweh. Hawa, H-A-W-A, -A, and they're putting the H, H-A-W-H, -A -A all right, so dig on it. So right there in Wiki, they're letting you know that the root of Hawa, even though they've been saying everything else, but Hawa is the most likely origin of the name Hey, yeah, uh, right here they say the same thing that the Hebrew verb Hawa is the earlier form of Hey, yeah, uh, was in the sense of the one who is existing. And again, we're just talking Hawa, the creator. Love to AD, love to Paco. You see, Drop Nation is coming together to bring, you know what I'm saying, this type of beautiful dropout, man. This is another link I'll leave right here. Know his name. You know, they're going through the Hawa. Yahweh and the YHWH, but you know, they break it down, they break it down somewhere, man. And the bottom line Yahweh is not a Hebrew name or word, Yahweh is not his name. It is an attempt to reconstruct the pronunciation YHWH based on one, the testimony of people who didn't pronounce his name, true story, and two, bad copies of ancient texts. The scriptures themselves testify that both Yah and Wah. Are short or shortened forms of his names, Yah and Wa. Which one is it, Yah or Wa or both? 
but it says that Yah and Wah here, they're saying, are both shortened forms of his name. Wah, Wah, like Walter, Wah, Wah. A baby says Wah when they're born, Wah. <laughs> okay. The Hebrew words Hey Yah and Hawa both mean the same thing, I am. He told Moses, I am that I am. His name is Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Now they're putting all that on it. They have to put that Yah, but they're saying right here, Hawa means the same thing. And we're getting before that the earlier primitive root, Hawa, Hawa, earlier form of Hayah. But even here, they had to slip it in. That the Hebrew words Heya and Hawa, and that the Wa and the Ya are both shortened forms of the name of the Creator. We're talking about the the one that forms, the shaper, the shaper, and who is your mother, who is wisdom? What is the wisdom of Solomon talking about? Man, love to my family, Albert Thompson. Love to hire a man, hire a man. Man, go check out Hiram, man. Hiram just dropped a, a mother load of drop, man, over there. Hiram Art, subscribe to Hiram Art, man. Lovely, 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 lovely frequency, man. He dropped this on me, man. And yeah, my brother Albert Thompson, man, been surfing the wave for a long time, man. He dropped something in 49 seconds on us about Alta. Hold up, man. I want to make sure we... Make sure we get all of this drop right here. What's my man saying about Alta? Press the job. This is Albert Dwayne Thompson, man. You know, King Drop once told me, King Drop once told me, 432 King Drop, he once told me, you know, I saw him put Alta into the search engine. And then, you know, it's just weird to me that. This is like, this is like the fourth, fifth building. I'm in downtown Denver that I done seen with Alta right on the top of it. Land of Preston John, man. Woo! Get money, King Drop. Wow. Appreciate you. Love you, brother. Love you, King. Alta. Alta, man. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that breadcrumb out there for my. For my serious reconners. Man, love to my serious man, Wave Surfers. They got their special board. I don't normally do drops within the drop, but you gotta look at my ugly mug, man. So y'all can uh dig on it. I put a competition out there, it said one, let me know the name of Tao's home city and the cities of gold. Tao is from where? The city. Nah, man, not the city of gold, man. Where's the city? He keeps saying it. My people are from the city of nah, but my people got it. That's it. Number two was the original name of Kazaria over there in Turkey. It was the original name that we were surfing with the Moses, the city that's named after Moses. What's the original name of that city, Kazaria? And three, I said, how many times did Preston John take a bath in the fountain of you? But here for yourself. Getting there. I'm going to do a couple of giveaways, man. How about this, man? Let's do something crazy, man. The next five people that signed up to drop Nation VIP, man, click drop VIP. You signed up, you're surfing the wave. That can tell me. That's, I mean, you got to be surfing the wave, man. Listen, you got to be surfing the wave, man. I'm going to test and see if y'all been surfing the wave. You got to tell me three things. I'm going to send you a free shirt. No hijacks allowed. No hijacks. Might pill on you, you know what I mean? So let me know. <laughs> still Come testing on. these things out. Let go. <laughs> you know, this is a community affair, man. But let me know. Um... All right, three things. Look, uh, I got to make sure you've been surfing the wave, man. Let me get my alkaline. Yeah, man, I got my alkaline, man. I love the Chef Candy, man. She found my key limes. I couldn't find my key limes, man, but she found my key limes, man. So I got the key lime in here, man. A little bit of that pink Himalayan salt and some distilled water or filtered water. That's been my goal, man. Let me know what you think about that. Everyone has their thing. <laughs> Go and dig on it, man. Love to all the fam. Love to all the street fam. You already know. Yeah, man. All right. Three things. I'm going to send you a shirt. Straight up. Tell me uh, the name 
in the cities of gold, man. You got to be surfing the waves. So if you've been in the Chronicle of Akakor series, what's the name of Tao's, Tao's home city, his homeland? What's the name of his land? The city of what? I'll give you a hint. The city of what? What's Tao's city? Where, where's Tao's people from? And I want you to tell me the original name of Kazaria. Before it was Kazaria, what was it? What's the foundational legend? What was Kazaria? Before it was Constantinople and Kazaria, what was the original name of that place? And three, I told y'all, man, you got to be surfing the wave, man. You got to be surfing the wave, man. Got to be something to do with Preston John. It got to be something to do with Preston John. How many times did Preston John take a bath in the fountain of youth? Bang! All right, man. Yeah, man. All right, y'all get it? All right, man. So, I said five people. I said ten people. Five people got to me with the right answers, man. Love to nature, boy. Uh, 727, man. Righteous L. Oren Dennis. Uh, Shawnee Evans, my sister. Surfing the wave, Krentz Cobbs, and Paco. <laughs> Paco got him a shirt. So I got everyone's uh, mailing address, but Krentz Cobbs, man, get at me. Music at 432thedrop.com. Look, I, I told y'all only a few people are going to answer that. And out of everyone surfing the wave, only five people hit me uh, with the right answer. Or, you know, even, even attempted, man. Come on, Drop Nation, man. Come on, y'all got this, man. Towels, home turf. You know what I'm saying? The ancient city, man, before it was Kazaria. What was it, man? If you've been surfing the wave, man, we're talking foundational legend. You know what I'm saying, man? How many times did Preston John take a bath in those living waters, the fountain of youth, and turn back to the age of 32? How many times in his letters did he say he took a bath? Come on, man. Y'all been surfing the wave, man. Love to y'all, man. So I told y'all, we're going to try to get back on this Paco, man. Do a nice little Paco dismount. On you like that, there. Pop, oh, yeah, there was one right there. Them lamentations, man. We're going to do it. In, and them lamentations, because they feel so good to me. We're going to uh, do our dismount on this, man. Love to this brother Paco. A heavy influence on this drop and so many others. Yo, Love yo, the drop yo, nation. Yo, the go. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> ha -wa, ha -wa, ha -wa, ha -wa. Happy rest day, happy rest day to my family. Wow. Woo. Ah, this is the best time to be out in nature. Go. After it just finished raining, because all the chemicals that were in the air, the water purifies it. So although it might seem gloomy, it's actually a new beginning, because you're actually breathing, for right now, the best oxygen we can, so... Just a quick tip right there. Woo! What y'all got? What y'all got going on though? Surfing the wave. I know. I know what I got going on though. I'm finna read some more scripture. You never have too much, cause you always need a good foundation. Cause you always, you always want to make sure the house you're building is in solid, is in solid foundation. And, and what is more solid than the Torah and the Tanakh? Get your foundation right. Get your mind right. So without further ado, let's get into this Lamentations number four. Let's get some. How gold has lost its luster. The fine gold became dull. The sacred gems are scattered at every street corner. Woo. How the gold has lost its luster. Think about that. The things that we want used to chase and all this materialism and all these expensive shoes and all these gold chains that that, that sometimes our people want. Yeah, it's good, you know what I'm saying, to treat, to, to, to treat yourself nice, but you know what I'm saying, as I said, you want to make sure you're building a solid foundation. And materialism is not solid because materialism will always fade because it's continually changing. You, you always got to keep up with a new trend. You, you always got to Keep up on a new fashion. Nah. You just got to keep it simple. In reality. 
get your get your nine commandments that were found in the Decalogue stone in, in New Mexico. Wow. Get your nine commandments and you vibrate. You get your Torah, your Tanakh, and you vibrate. Because you don't have a problem with the law. You just think you do. Mm. You don't have a problem with someone looking out for you first before, they, before they're looking out for themselves. You just think you do because you were raised in the wrong vibration. You just think you do. You don't have a problem with the law. Let's get into it. The sacred gems are scattered at every street corner. How the precious children of Zion, once worth their weight in gold, are now considered as pots of clay, the work of a potter's hands. Even jackals offer their breasts to nurse their young. But my people have become heartless like ostriches in the desert because of the thirst, the infants, excuse me, because of thirst, the infants.